If you've ever done a training program and you saw really quick results in the beginning, maybe the first couple weeks, but then that completely dropped off and even regressed, this video is gonna be for you. If that hasn't happened to you, then click off of this video because I'm gonna talk all about why that happens, how to fix it, and how to eventually have that pain-free, injury-free, athletic version of yourself that you're looking to achieve. And so what we gotta understand here First off, I'm gonna break down exactly what happened. So you see this graph here, you have results on this axis, time on this axis. So what happens when somebody starts a new program or a new way of training, a new style of training, you work with a new coach, uh, maybe you even do one of your old programs from back in college that you had laying around somewhere, whatever the case may be, you start something new. So you see this huge spike in your results. Let's say before you started this new program, you were kind of just like just barely going on. Maybe you saw some spikes and then dips, spikes and then dips. But then you start this program right here at this point, And then you see things skyrocket. And you do that for a couple weeks. Let's say this is about three weeks three weeks in, things are going great, and then you keep on going, and then things still improve, but they slow down, and you're like, hmm, I wonder why things are slowing down. I probably just need to stay more consistent, or you know, I probably just need to improve my form on some of these exercises, or whatever the case may be, right? So you keep on doing it, and then you see those results, and then you're maybe like, six weeks in here and then things start to plateau there's no movement there's no upwards movement there's no results anymore you're just staying at the same place you're basically maintaining and then let's say maybe nine weeks in you actually see things start to drop off and your body actually regresses. So whether that's new aches and pains coming up or you see your vertical jump height decrease, you're not able to be as explosive in your finishes to the rim anymore, you, you don't have those same bursts of uh, explosion that you do on your first step, whatever the case may be, you see those results start to diminish. You see your body actually going backwards. So this is what I see all the time when people start these new programs. Now, why is that? What I believe is that these different programs often have different focuses. And they often, so when it comes to building a pain-free athletic body, you can think of these different aspects of that, that, that training trains, <laughs> uh, to say it simply. So let's say you have proprioception, uh, in my opinion, probably the most overlooked aspect that I'm gonna be talking about here. And then you have strength. <laughs> this one is hammered home the most by most of the industry, whether uh, it's the therapy side of things or it's the performance side of things. This one right here is probably the most common, the most focused on. And then let's say, again, I, this is not gonna be an exhaustive list and there's an infinite amount of ways to break this down. So don't worry so much about these categorizations. I'm just gonna simplify this, uh, this last one and say athletic qualities. And that's things like cutting and running, jump height, uh, your speed, stuff like that. Uh, those are your athletic qualities. So the issue with these programs is that they'll over-index on one of these. A lot of them, it's strength. A lot of them are focused on strength. Um, a lot of them are, are just hammering that home. And you, what you'll see is diminishing returns. So you bring that graph back up this point where you start to plateau like this, right about here, like week, uh, I think uh, maybe three it was that I said, this right here, in between here and here, 
This is your diminishing return. So once you hit this point, you're still focusing on strength. You're going to see the results diminish because that's with anything in life. If we try and squeeze so much juice out of one thing, you're going to find that that juice runs out. And so another way to look at this is that in terms of building a pain-free athletic body, you always have to find the bottleneck or the constraint or the weakest link. So if you have a chain link right here, and then this, this link right here that I'm drawing with these squiggly lines denotes a weak link. So it, it's basically, let's say this link is made out of paper, <laughs> or just a weaker material and these ones are made out of metal right and so you have these other links right and so if I pull on both ends of this link then this right here is where it's gonna break the weakest link is obviously where it's gonna break and what happens is that in these programs let's say this is strength let's say you really were weak uh, which I doubt if you're a former athlete um, or, or you're, you're just a really active person. Uh, I doubt that you're weak, but maybe, maybe you are. Maybe you do need to work on strength. Whatever it is, you work on this strength for these three weeks. And because you really needed it, because that was your weakest link, you saw these results over time. But now when you get to week three here, then this bond actually strengthens it's solidified so now you don't have this gap and what happens is that when we fill these gaps oftentimes something else will become the constraint so let's say your strength was at like uh like if we we're talking um like uh out of a hundred let's say your strength was like a 30 out of a hundred right so in these three weeks, you see all these great results because you bring your strength to a 60 out of 100. But then because you brought this 30 to 60 out of 100, it, it becomes the strongest thing. Then let's say your uh, athletic qualities over here was only a 45. Now this becomes the weakest link. So now when I go to pull on the chain, the strength aspect will stay together and the chain will actually break at the athletic qualities. So you can see how it's a never ending game of basically improving your qualities to get them close to as close to 100 out of 100 as possible. If you've ever played NBA 2K uh, or NBA Live, whatever, or any of those games, any of those sports games, uh, those video games, then you know exactly what I'm talking about here because with your created player, you're always working to increase their numbers and you want to increase the lowest thing because if you're a basketball player and your dribbling is 45 then and everything else is at like a 60 and above like you got to work on that dribbling of course depending on your position and here it's depending on what athletic qualities or what goals that you have but you got to be able to dribble as a basketball player especially in today's game so you got to get that dribble up from a 40 up to a 60 at least to catch up with everything else and it's again the same thing here so most programs they'll be like okay three weeks of strength and then oh let's still do strength and then six weeks in let's still do strength <laughs> and so they'll just be a dead horse and they'll keep trying to do the same thing those trying to hammer home the same qualities and this i'm not saying this is every program or coach there's some some good ones out there who actually view things from a holistic standpoint and so instead of working strengths or whatever other one quality like it doesn't matter what it is whether it's proprioception it's the athletic qualities there's going to be something that breaks if you don't have that whole picture in mind of these qualities that go into being resilient and athletic but what i see is that the best coaches will actually see exponential improvements 
in results that they get people because what they do is cycle through these different elements. And this is how the best track coaches in the world, I think track, I might be biased because I'm a high jumper, but I think track is the pinnacle of athleticism because the whole goal of the sport is to maximize athletic qualities, how fast you can run, how high you can jump, how far you can jump, how far you can jump on one leg at a time. It's just, these are athletic qualities that that are at the root of every sport. And that's why I think that track is the pinnacle of athleticism. So what they do, these best track coaches in the world, they cycle between these different things. So they'll have a block of hypertrophy or more general strength. And then they'll have a, a block of more max strength, right? So like throwing 335, 400, 500 on your back and just repping that out for maybe like three to five-ish reps. And then we'll get into a power phase where you're doing things like the quintessential of this is power cleans. Uh, you're doing uh, more kinds of acceleration based things. And then maybe you will after that get into speed. So it's similar to that, except we're not really working on peak. That's periodization if you're familiar with it. Uh, but we're doing the best coaches I see uh, who actually holistically work with the body, who actually get these kinds of results, becoming uh, helping people become pain-free and, and athletic, they cycle these different qualities just like that. And so what they'll do is, let's say for these first three weeks right here, I'm working on proprioception. And of course, the main thing is, first off, that I forgot to mention, and this is what I do with all of my clients, is I will focus on the thing that they need the most. Now, oftentimes, when people come into my program, it is proprioception. It's the ability to sense their body in space. It's their ability to just be aware of their different joints, these different functions and sensations in the body. And that's why they see results so quickly. Literally within like at this three week period, a lot of times if people had pain that was like a seven or a six, maybe out of 10 pain, uh, then it'll go down on average, maybe like to a two or a one, or even sometimes it'll completely disappear. Now that's not the case all the time. Sometimes it'll go from like a seven to like a three or a eight to a four, uh, things like this. But in any case, they see huge progress here because we assessed them, we understood their background, we understood what, how they were training, we understood what they tried before us, and so we gave them a program that was based on these things. So again, most people, it's proprioception, so I just wrote that down here. So within these first three weeks, they'll see this jump. And so instead of hammering this proprioception piece home forever, what we'll do, even if there's more to squeeze out of it, we want people to continue seeing results. We don't just want people to be super meta aware of their body. Like that would be cool and all, but we're not training monks. We're training pain-free athletes here. And so we shift about three, four weeks in from proprioception to Another quality that, again, depends on the individual, but let's say we shift to more of a strength focus. That way, instead of plateauing like the old, gra the old grapher slowing down, we continue to see results. We continue getting people feeling good and being uh, more athletic in their body. And then after the strength phase, again, like if we kept hammering home strength, there's going to be a point where the returns diminish. So instead, what we're going to do, we're going to work on something like elasticity here. And that's just a quality of athleticism that I think is overlooked, but basically elasticity is just using your body exactly what it sounds like in an elastic way. So things like med ball throws, things like plyometrics, basically stretching and shortening your body quickly and utilizing the energy of the tendons to basically make movement more efficient and essentially be able to just be more powerful, be more springy, be bouncier, um, and just all those things that uh, is good for uh, that are good for athleticism. So 
what you'll see again is that the results never drop off. People in my program see results all the way through into these first 12 weeks because we're continuing to cycle through these different elements. And then you might happen, okay, well, what happens after the first 12 weeks? Well, then we cycle back. So, and again, this is what elite athletes do, what the best coaches in the world do. They're, they'll sure start on a strength block maybe in December, but then as the season goes on, January, you might do power, then uh, February, you might do a little bit more speed, and then March comes around and you get back into strength. And that's how you keep on leveling up you just keep on layering these different qualities on top of each other so that they don't diminish so that you keep on moving forward so again like you started proprioception you go into strength you go into elasticity and then maybe we just go back to proprioception and then you just finish the cycle over again and Again, I want to stress that these aren't uh, 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 an exhaustive list of the qualities that I focus on in my training with clients or the, the qualities that there are in general out there. This is just an oversimplification just so that you can understand. Uh, but these are real qualities that I think are important in building a resilient athletic body. So this is how I get my clients results. This is why also conversely, I think that a lot of other programs, a lot of other coaching styles fails because they just try and hammer home the same things. But I like to bring my expertise from the elite track and field world to training uh, with people who, of course, like, again, they, they're not necessarily getting paid to, to play um, their sports, but they damn sure want to not only participate, but kick ass in whatever they do because they have competitive nature in them and they've been an athlete for their whole life. So if that's you and you want to see results like this over time without seeing that constant or that, that typical uh, plateau and then drop off in results, if that's what you want, then book a call down below. We'll chat it up. I'll talk about your situation with you. We'll go over some of the things that you've tried in the past, some of the ways that you've trained in the past, just so I understand, have a very detailed uh, grip on exactly where you're coming from. And then from there, we can craft a program for you starting at your weakest link and then building on top of there, cycling over time, and you can see continual results literally until you die. And that's my goal is to literally see, like, of course, I'm I might not be jumping the highest. I might not be running the fastest when I'm 80 years old, but I can damn sure work on certain qualities of my athleticism, of my uh, fitness, my body function in general uh, that are going to allow me to be fulfilled because that's what it's really all about, guys. I'm sure you can resonate with this, that it's more about the athletic, uh, the journey the athletic journey to improving your body, making these upgrades constantly to how your body is working. It's, it's about that more than just the strength numbers, like hitting a certain benchmark uh, in your squat or hitting a certain number in your bench press or whatever the case may be. It's less about that, more about the journey. So if you want to experience that continual gain so that you can be fulfilled all throughout your training journey instead of getting somewhere plateauing and feeling like life is over, then book a call down below. Uh, like I said, we'll chat it up and we'll get you right on the other side. See you there.